are complete empty. It's actually very famous station. I'm not at a station where nobody comes. It's Shenkenzi. It's site of the first CPC National Congress. No people. So this is Shintiandi guys. Very less people, just two cars here. I see one taxi going here. This road is also empty. One taxi going here, this road is also empty. This is the scene. I already arrived. Shinkendi. Uh, metro station was empty. Hardly any people on the streets. You can see. Huh, one thing. I've already got my two vaccinations. I've already got two COVID tests done in the last 48 hours. That's why I'm outside. And only that's why I'm outside. It's not like I'm breaking any rule or something. But yeah, it's pretty sad. Oh, look at this sexy car. So, yeah, that's... I just feel a little low coming to Shanghai on these roads and looking at empty streets, but there's some hope in me that, that makes me believe that things will be better very soon, real soon. Uh, so, yeah, hope on. I'll find something to eat. Uh, if hope some restaurants or cafes are open, uh, if not, we'll do some takeaway or maybe go to Bollywood. Let's see. So I am at a metro exit. It's the most busiest metro station of Shanghai, People's Square and all these shops are closed this used to be a busy shopping area and can't see anyone that's it let's let's go outside and see if there are people outside on the east nanjing road east nanjing road is the most popular walking street of shanghai let's see downtown shanghai People Square and look at the roads. Frankly, very less people. Buses are also empty. They are running, but they are empty. Most people don't speak. English here, otherwise, I'd like to talk to them. Let's see if somebody does. Let's see how they feel about Shanghai. I think that most of the restaurants here at the places where a lot of people usually come and dine in are advised to only do takeaways and no dine-in option. But I need to check, I'm not very really sure. Looking at no people eating here, but still some stores are open. It looks like it's the case. These trains used to be working operational. They used to take some kids or passengers and just give a ride around the walking street. It's the most popular tourist destination in Shanghai. So 
why this? This is the most famous hotel in Shanghai. I don't know. I don't have words to speak to see Shanghai this empty. But trust me, things will get better very soon. Finally, I'm on the bun. This place used to be the most, most, most crowded place in Shanghai. Uh, and this is the place where you can see the skyline, skyline. That's a beautiful skyline, but it's pretty empty. Uh, it's sad. Let's go, let's go. Let's go there, cross the road. And then let's see how many people are here. Yeah, guys, I'm here at the fun. Uh, there was a time when we used to come here, and even to take one photo, we need to wait for like five minutes to find one spot so that we can have a photo because uh, with not many people around me. And now it's, it's it's pretty empty, but we have hope. China have this whole conquered COVID very well. They have taken care of it. It's our two years. We had a very beautiful life in Shanghai. Everything was open. We felt safe. We still feel safe. I have done my vaccinations, I have got two tests done last 48 hours. Uh, we will get some antigen kits, self-testing kits as well this weekend. So yeah, uh, if you ask me, do I feel safe? Yes, I feel safe because of the fact that the measures they are taking to control COVID is just, just too good. Like, for example, they in last five or, five or six days, they have blocked all the communities and tested each and every one they they like possibly thought could have been exposed to the, the areas they thought they could have been exposed to a positive case and then they have blocked those communities and did some tests uh, apart from that uh, if there is one positive case what they do is they find the close contacts and they isolate that person in a quarantine area and then they test everyone who are suspected close contacts and that one case that whole area becomes a medium risk area and then they lock down the communities and do the testing so as per my sources they have done millions and millions of tests in the city in the past few days and they are still planning to do more and if they don't just stop at one test they do more and more tests just to make sure that there are no traces of the virus anyway so yes i do feel safe i do uh, believe that COVID here will be controlled very, very, very soon. And let's hope, let's hope that I will come back here, make another video when this place will be very lively, very happening. And then I can make another compare video and show you like how, how, how good and how lively this place is. So thank you. Thank you for watching this video. Please like my channel, subscribe to my channel and share this video to whomsoever you think will like this video. And uh, I will keep sharing updates about how it goes here. And with said that, thank you, thank you for watching.